Hi, this is Dr. Ashwini from Applied Materials, and it is my pleasure to address the VS community with my keynote thoughts on kickstarting innovation. We are the world's largest tool maker for the semiconductor industry, and in this industry, the tool maker carries a lot of IP as well. I intend sharing our toolbox for creating the innovation ecosystem for semiconductors. First, as you are aware, the world is seeing a roller coaster growth for semiconductors. The overall market is estimated to cross $520 billion in 21 and is hurtling towards the $1 trillion mark by the turn of this decade. Semiconductor growth is underwritten by the fact that machines are not generating more data than humans, and electronics is now the meta technology for most industries. We are at the dawn of the next industrial revolution. There is intense competition, extreme hyperconnectivity networking. The old industrial platform is collapsing. No business is safe from disruption. How do you thrive in this kind of world? How do you survive in this kind of world? Do you have a strategy or do you build a culture? One of my ex companies focused on the numbers and forgot about its innovation culture. It is a shadow of its former glory now. Fact is, culture eats strategy for breakfast. Strategy is about intention, but culture is about habit. Culture resides in the hearts and minds of people. Culture is believed and values. Culture makes you do things instinctively. Culture is the environment in which your business thrives or where it dies. Culture inspires innovation. In fact, culture is the real game. A culture which puts customer at the core of innovation is a culture which will survive the waves of change which come in the marketplace. And we are seeing so many new technologies storming the markets. Applied material needs precision materials engineering, and our work in semiconductor display energy sector is key to enabling these global inflections. We serve the most exciting industries in the world as their number one tool maker. We're the world's largest semiconductor in display equipment company. Our last year revenue was $17 billion. This year, we'll exit anywhere about $20 billion. And our market capitalization is already over $120 billion. We have over 13,000 patents and we fuel it with over $2 billion of R&D spending. We have over 19,000 people. And a quarter of that are based out of India working with our industry playbook in materials engineering, which is deliver performance and improve power efficiencies and power through area and cost improvements with an aggressive time to market. And we are constantly creating new architectures, new structures, new materials, new ways to shrink and new ways to advance packaging and more than more technologies to enable that functionality that these technologies and these markets require. We are also very actively working with academia across the world. We are ID Bombay's largest industry partner and have invested over 80 crores as our grants in that relationship over the last decade. You have the Applied Materials Nanotechnology Lab here in this video, and that is named after our corporation because we gave a grant of 50 crores to the Center of Excellence in Nanotechnology in 2008. Since then, Applied Materials has given two additional labs at IIT Bombay, the Clean Lab in 2011, and our own exploration center in 2013, which is a separate building in the campus, which is now a DSI approved, DSR recognized materials engineering lab. 
we are now working actively with IIT Kanpur, IIT Delhi, IIT Chennai, IIC Bangalore, Triple IIT Hyderabad, and the work is building huge capacity inflections in our sector in India. This is getting fueled by research themes in ideation and innovation with startups. As the academia build there, bring their background IP, we bring our background IP and collaborate to create foreground IP, which will fuel innovation. Our own global engineering center is now 5,000 people strong. And our Estra 22, the seasonal call for deep tech startups, is just starting. Applied Ventures has an investment history in India with Dissolve, Kotak. We have over 30 active companies in our portfolio right now with over $250 million of assets under management. We are engaged with Safa and other accelerators to find new deep tech startups in our core interest areas. Another inflection is ICAPS. And in fact, we have now a division focused on ICAPS, which is IoT, communications, autoelectronics, power electronics, and sensors. The ICAPS technology is transforming the edge. And if you actually take a look at it, materials engineering is at the heart of it. If you take image sensors, and a simple example of improving the signal to noise ratio from a special specific image sensor that an industry wanted, our work improved the pixel, uh, uh, reduced the pixel noise and improved the signal noise ratio by a factor of 50% by surface engineering, the deep range isolation that was done for that particular image sensing. What is not shared on this slide is that there were simultaneous materials improvement, which actually executed a 2x multiplier to the signal noise ratio uh, performance. So just imagine, a 3x performance improvement by combining surface engineering and materials engineering. Yet another area of market inflection is semiconductor packaging. As die geometries shrink, industry has moved beyond conventional packaging to advanced packaging. And this trend is growing with heterogeneous integration of chips as a key forecasted trend, where instead of a system on chip, there could be a focus on a system in packaging to get functionalities with a far more improved time to market at lower costs. And applied material is organized to address packaging challenges through materials engineering, through co-optimized technologies, through dedicated packaging labs where proof of concept is shown to potential customers on our advanced packaging technologies. So the key takeaway for building the innovation ecosystem semiconductors is very simple. Build a culture of innovation with customer at the core. Build capacity, capture opportunities creatively, collaborate. The moment industry, government, and universities come together mixture can be explosive. My contacts are shared here, and I do want to highlight that there's a workshop on wide band gap semiconductors on 27th October 21. I'm sure as I will circulate a note on it, please feel free to join us on that. Have a great day.